I'm a carer for my wife Barbara who's got dementia. I cared for my mom for five years. So I've been caring for my wife for the last 11 years now. I care for my husband and I've probably been caring for him for nine years now. It's progressed slowly over the years, as I say it's 20 years now. Sort of every day, nearly all day, it was kind of like a full-time job. I always thought caring was just physical, lifting somebody in and out of a bed or a bath or, or things like that, not the emotional and running a household because that, that's just what you do and, and when you're a couple you you pick up the slack for the other person so um, yeah I didn't identify as a carer. Caring is quite stressful, it's quite exhausting. I didn't imagine that it would be this challenging. Even through the night I used to sort of go to bed and think am I going to get any sleep tonight or am I going to get woken up? It is, it's a full-time job, you don't realise, you don't realise at all. It's been lonely at times, and I think the knock-on effect of that is you put your own health, mental health, physical health, um, just take, take second fiddle. And you realise the time that you have to yourself just slowly gets less and less. It is hard work, very hard work. And I think emotionally, um, more so than physically really, because washing floors and washing dishes and cooking is not a problem, but emotionally it's, it's draining, it's very draining. So you need to get any help that you can. And I did. <laughs> Once I got in touch with the support that was out there, it, it was just, it was just made a world of difference. It was just help for me as well as for mum. I knew that on my own I couldn't um, continue caring for my wife and for myself at the same time. That is why I reached out for that help. I felt it uh, quite a heavy load for me to continue caring for my wife alone. So that is why I reached for that help because if I waited until my crisis point, then it could have been devastating for the both of us. I, I went to a carer support group. Carers would go along there for two hours and we'd just exchange our experience. And we'd laugh together, we'd cry together, we'd scream together, but what was said in the room stayed in the room. So everybody felt free to open up and really say it as it is. And so carer support groups are really useful. Whenever you are overwhelmed by your caring responsibilities, it's always good to reach out for that help. And I'm sure uh, you're, going, you're going to find it. Take help, ask for help and take help. And I think, I think it's really that, to not, not battle on on your own. To, if there's help and you can use it, then do use it. In the beginning, I just felt like I should have been the only one that could do anything. And that I didn't want to involve other people. But realise that you can't do it all on your own. It's too much. Make sure that you look for some help and some support right from the word go rather than get yourself down in the dump straight away. But five years of my life was basically hard going, but I've come through it.